Today, we're going to be looking at 12 use cases for Notebook LM. So you can get access to notebook.lm.google.com and every single workflow that I show you today, we're going to give away for free. All the prompts, all the tips, all the workflows, etc., all the SOPs you can get for free. And we're going to get straight into this. So the first thing that we can actually use Notebook LM for is creating content outlines, right? So planning what content we want to create based on who's already ranking on the first page of Google. So let's say, for example, I want to rank for a random keyword like Julian Goldie SEO course, right? That's people, something people are typing into Google. So if we take these videos as a source, we can basically reverse engineer what's already ranking on Google and then use that to create a content outline so that we figured out, okay, this is what Google likes to see. So we can create content using a similar sort of structure as well. And you can do this with YouTube videos. You can also do it with blog posts as well. So let me take example blog posts right here. We'll insert that as a source, add source, and then add in the link, right? You can also add, for example, sources such as Google Docs, Google Slides, and you can see here, you actually get 300 different documents that you can insert. But if you're using this for content outlines, then of course you would just keep this minimal and just take like the top five or 10 most relevant ranking pages. Now we've got the sources added in using those free sources, which we've selected over here. And if you decide not to use one of these sources, you can just unselect them on the checkbox and then it will actually change the number of sources it's using. And what we can do inside the prompt is we can insert our keywords. So let's say, for example, we're trying to rank for the keyword Julian Goldie SEO course, and we can say reverse engineer my competitor's content attached to create a relevant SEO content outline for my keyword, include headings, subheadings, the word count topics mentioned. Also extract the keywords, LSIs and entities from the page and create a list of relevant keywords, LSIs related to the main keyword. Now, if we hit enter, that's going to take the sources that we've reverse engineered from Google for our top ranking keyword. And then we can create a relevant content outline based on these sources. So that it's really easy to create something that would rank for us as well. So for example, it's come up with the title, the relevant word count, it's included a useful outline with headings and subheadings relevant to the keyword and just structured it based on our competitors and figured out the search intent as well, along with relevant LSIs for the keyword. Now, based on that, this is use case number two. We can say, okay, create an SEO optimized article for this. And we'll put the article, which is the keyword we're trying to target here. Content outline equals use the content outline above for content creation, do this. And inside the source context here, we're just going to personalize this to our business which we've done right there. And then what you can also do inside this prompt is you can insert the content outline that we generated before into this prompt right here. So you can build, for example, content outline, then paste the relevant LSIs, entities, headings, and subheadings into the content. And it can generate full blog posts like you see right here. Also formats it with relevant headings, bullet points, etc. And you can see here as well with the content itself, it's actually linking internally to the pages that we want to funnel traffic to. So Pretty simple and easy to do, and you can do that completely for free inside Notebook LM. This is not the plus package. Now, what we can also do is we can take a sitemap from our website, which has a list of relevant pages we want to insert internal links to inside our content, right? So if we paste this and this is our, and this is our sitemap, and again, you don't really need to format this properly, etc. Like you can just have the raw list of the sitemap and then insert this as a source inside here. In fact, what we can actually do is paste that copied text right there, insert that in, see the sitemap I've attached, insert a few relevant internal links within the content so that it links internally to the pages I want to rank. And so now we've created like an internal link machine. So if we look at the outputs here, it's a very simple prompt, but you can see it's actually rewritten parts of the paragraphs inside our content to internally link to the page from our sitemap, right? So for example, it's rewritten this sentence right here so that it links internally to our page on the sitemap. And you can see this is not a hallucinated link it actually works. Plus it's relevant and you don't have to think about writing the content. You don't have to think about the anchor text, etc. Super easy and powerful to do. Honestly, that is better than a lot of internal linking tools because you can easily automate it in one prompt. And these are actually very intelligent responses, right? So it's okay for a deep dive into keyword research, check out this guide, it links straight to it. And then you can just insert that into your content. Now, from there, what we can actually do is generate an audio version of the blog using the deep dive conversation option. Now you can customize this. So if you want to focus on specific things, you can right here. And then if you click on generate, what that's going to do is actually generate a conversation with the AI between two different hosts based on our blog post. Now this is good because number one, you can embed it inside your content. And number two, you can actually upload that content directly into, for example, something like SoundCloud. And that can rank pretty well as well. In fact, if you actually type in how to do SoundCloud SEO on Google, you'll see that my SoundCloud SEO audio file 
which was created with AI, is ranking on Google. Now, one thing I want to mention at this point is whatever you create in here is very powerful, right? So whether you're creating blog posts, whether you're creating outlines, whether you're creating audio versions or videos, which I'll come on to later. When you're doing any of this, make sure you do quality control. Check the content because, of course, if it's spammy content, if it's not useful, then that's not going to help you, your brand, or the audience listening. Make sure you do quality control as you go along. Now, once that's actually done, you can just click on load the conversation over here. And then if we play this, it creates a pretty nice audio version. Now, if you want to customize that to your own voice, I'll show you exactly how to do that later. But you can see here how easy it is to create an audio version of your blog. And then you create multiple pieces of content from one single input, which is very high leverage. Now, what you can also do with that audio is if you download it, so you can click on download right here, then you can actually turn that into a YouTube video. For example, if we type in the keyword SEO training in Honiton into Google right here, you can see my AI generated video right here. And all it is a video with AI audio and then a screencast of like me talking about relevant stuff inside the video related to the topic. And you can see that I got 229 views and it's ranking number one for its target keyword, right? So you can also take the audio with Loom or OBS or Descript. And then whilst you're playing the audio, record your screen, talk about relevant things to that topic. And for whatever keyword you want to rank for, you've got the audio generated, you've got the video generated with the screencast, and you're off to the races. Now, if you want to take that one step further, what you can actually do is whilst you're screencasting, so whilst you're recording your screen and generating the audio, you can actually go on interactive mode right here, and that will engage you directly with the AI audio so that you create a more interactive podcast, which would create better audio for the video you're creating, right? So if we go into interactive mode right here, we can play the podcast, and then we could join and generate audio that's more customized to us and who we are and is more engaging for the person listening, right? Use that for your video instead of the AI generated stuff, right? Which makes it more engaging and also adds more personalization to the content, right? So like basically you can generate audio that's more customized to you, includes your voice, you interact with the AI, guide it in the right way, and then you can generate videos that actually rank like I've already shown you, but it's more customized to you rather than the generic AI voices that everyone else is using. Now, what you can also do is you can take the videos and then you can turn those into blog posts as well. So if you look, for example, at this keyword, notebook LM update, and we scroll down, you can see the blog post that I created a day ago is already ranking on Google right here, right? Now, this blog post is literally just from a video. So we created the video first, and then we generated that as a blog post, which ranked really well on Google as well. And it's pretty simple to do this. All you do is you can copy the video URL, you can add a source, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually just copy and paste the transcript in as well. And then once you've got a YouTube video loaded, like you can see right here, then you can create the blog post based on that. So you can say my video transcript into a blog post. Obviously there are better ways of generating the prompt and the content, which I've included inside the video notes from today. Now, something that's really cool for generating images based on your notebook LM content is we can take the content and then we can go into a free tool called napkin.ai we can paste in the content right here click generate visuals and this will create really unique visuals based on our content it's customized to us now the reason that i like this versus using something like dali or mid journey is that it's actually creating something of value right because if you look at this particular post this is an unusual diagram that's more customized to you that's more useful for the user and there's loads of different styles right here now, I think that's 10 times better. And then you can just click on export if you want to get this or paste it in, right? But I think that's 10 times better than using your sort of generic image that's going to be from Dali because it's customized to you, your content. It creates something that's actually enhancing your content and you can edit it or sketch it or add more images right here. But unless you get something that really adds unique value to your content like this, then there's no point using AI images from what I can see. So that's a really powerful way to use Notebook LM as well. Now, additionally, once you've got the content loaded that you want to create or based on the content you've already generated, this brings me on to use case number nine, which is that you can actually repurpose the content you've created to post across multiple platforms, right? For example, for us, we always take our videos or our existing content and we'll post it onto Twitter. We'll create shorts out of the content and we'll chop it up like 10 or 20 different ways at least, right? And so it's really easy to do this, right? For example, this is my prompt for shorts. And we could take the content that was generated with Notebook LM right here. We'll paste that into the prompt. And so this is going to generate a short script that we can then read out to record a video. Right? As for example, it's got the prompt right here for creating the short. Just bear in mind, you might have to shorten the content. So it might just be like the first few paragraphs, all the key facts, etc. 
And then if we hit enter, this has generated a short video script or even a Facebook ad script that we could then read out, record a video around. And again, it was automated with Notebook LM. And it's got the hook and then the secondary hook like we asked it for and then the delivery on the hook. Now there's many ways you could repurpose your content, right? It could be into a tweet, into a short, into an email, etc. But the main thing here is you don't just have to focus on SEO. You can take that AI generate content and then get 10 to 20 X the amount of reach from that content because you've syndicated and repurposed it across many different platforms. Now, what you can also do is based on this content, Notebook LM actually supports many different languages. So if we go into this content right here, I'm going to say rewrite this in French, we could repurpose the content and then translate it into many different languages so that we can reach bigger audiences, right? For example, even for the short script, it's rewritten the content into French. And this supports like over 30 languages, right? So any sort of audio that you create, any sort of blog content, videos that you create, etc., they can all be translated into many different languages. And bear in mind, if you're trying to rank with SEO or you're trying to reach a new audience, there's much less competition in multiple different languages, right? So it's easier to rank and it doesn't require any extra time. And then of course, you just want to quality control it, double check it before you publish. Now, use case number 11, inside Notebook LM, what you can also do is you could load all the content that you've created previously over the last six months because it allows 300 different sources and then you could use that so that notebook lm understands your style right so basically it understands how you write the tonality how how you typically format it etc and it creates a much more personalized experience so that when you're generating content that content is higher quality the final thing that you can actually do and this is really cool for just generating customized audio to you is you can take the content from Notebook LM, for example, like the audio right here. Then we can go into a tool like Descript. We can open up a new project. We can upload the file we just downloaded and that will transcribe. All right. So we've basically taken the audio from Notebook LM, which is in the AI voice and it's not customized to you. It's a little bit generic, etc. You might not be comfortable with that. And so once we've transcribed it, based on the voices that you can train inside Descript. So for example, Descript is trained on my voice in you could train it on multiple people's voices. So what we can actually do is we can take the content from Notebook and then we can import that into Descript because Descript is trained on my voice, right? So if we go to write a speech over here, we'll paste this in, and then I'm going to change the voiceover to me, but there are actually stock AI speakers inside Descript if you want something more unique. But the main thing here is you might not want the generic AI speakers from Notebook LM, right? You might want something where it's more customized to you, your brand, etc. So we'll paste that in right there. We'll hit done writing. We're going to change that to my name. And then from here, we can play this content, right? So if we play this content, it's going to be generated in my voice because we've trained Descript on my voice, right? Let's click You can play. insert the following internal links within the content you drafted to connect to the pages you want to rank. And so it's super easy to take the content from Notebook LM, whether that's a transcript, whether that's content as a blog, etc., And then you can transform that into something that's customized to you, your brand and whether you want to embed that onto your blog post so that it's more unique to you, or whether you want to use that as audio for say your YouTube video or your blog post, etc. super easy to do. That is as promised, 12 notebook LM epic use cases are all completely free. For example, competitor outlines for SEO, writing and ranking blog posts, uploading your sitemap and using that as an internal links machine, creating audio to rank on SoundCloud, recording your audio and adding that to video, recording an audio view and the AI interacting and then creating a regular YouTube video around that. Additionally, we've talked about how I've ranked YouTube videos to blog posts using a similar sort of process, napkin AI images, repurposing blogs, generating it in multiple languages, content writing based on your voice, and then also pasting that content that you've generated as written format into Descript, training Descript on your voice, and then turning that audio into your own voice for the podcast or even multiple voices, right? You could have two AI voices that you've custom trained on Descript, and then they can go back and forth just like the audio overview inside Notebook LM because you've got the transcript and because you can just change the speakers pretty easily. Thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I've turned all of these use cases into a step-by-step -step SAP with relevant prompts, step-by-step -step tutorials, all the prompts I used and copied and pasted from today as well you can steal from me directly in the video notes from today. Now, if you want to get access to that, you can get that inside my free SEO course, link in the comments description. This course will show you how to get more leads, traffic, sales of SEO, and it comes with over 200 lessons on how to do SEO step-by-step. -step. So for example, keyword research, link building, topical maps, quality control, free SEO systems, basically everything that I've tested over the last year or two when it comes to SEO. Now, 
If you want to get access to the video notes from today, that's inside the free SEO system section, as you can see right here. Once you've gone to that category, then just scroll down and you'll find the video notes right here. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, sales from SEO, feel free to put that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. And basically you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so that you can generate more leads, sales and profits from your website. You will also discover the secrets of SEO link building. So you'll discover a tried, test and improving link building strategy to get more leads, traffic, sales from SEO. And additionally, you can just ask us any questions, right? So you can ask our world-class SEO experts about any questions, problems, or challenges you're facing and get some actionable tips to solve that. And this free acceleration session just comes with loads of stuff that's going to help you if you want to get better results for SEO based on what's working for us. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.